Art for me is a way of making work that I can communicate ideas and feelings and places and emotions to other people. When I'm creating anything, whether it's a painting or an object or I'm painting or designing something that's going to be used, the idea is that I want to make things that will, in their small way, in the corner of the world that they inhabit, make a space more beautiful and create a feeling for whoever uses it and owns it. Small things can make big impacts, even if it is something as simple as, you know, the textiles that you're using in day-to-day -day life or the plates or the musical instruments or the paintings that you have on the wall, whatever it is. Everything you see every day has a big impact on how you feel. Making a space for yourself that feels happy and positive and has an energy and an emotional energy is really important and it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be expensive, it can be small as long as you've chosen it and as long as it speaks to you. If people can take something that makes their space feel better, that's what makes me want to make things. Mostly what I paint is from the natural world is nature and animals and forests and things like this and I suppose that's somewhere I'm always trying to get back to. For me, nature is somewhere that really means home and is beyond the everydayness of life and if people can look at my work and feel like they can get both beyond the everyday and back to that feeling of home, that's really important to me. I studied scientific and natural history illustration and particularly medical illustration was what I found really interesting. It was all part of me basically being interested in how things work, whether it's an ecosystem or, you know, a skeletal structure of an animal or a human being. Doing medical illustration and scientific illustration is really good grounding for whatever you want to paint particularly obviously portraiture if you want to paint people. Knowing how flesh sits on bone and skin wraps around muscle is incredibly useful. And even where, if you're doing you know, light sketches, if people are talking or moving, understanding what's happening underneath that is vital. You can make something, you can break the rules, you can play with things if you understand how they work. So doing the scientific and medical illustration was brilliant for me because then it meant, okay, I felt like whatever happens next, however I work after this, I know the rules so I can do with them what I want.